last night. Uh, you know Mallow, right? The Falcon from Mexico who's here in Canada? Oh. Okay. Well, he, uh... Oh. We'll, tell well, that doesn't matter because we're playing Melee. Yeah, tell me about it later. <laughs> yeah. So we got green, we got uh, Prince of Boo and Duck. I think... This isn't hand warmers, no. We got no, no, Prince no. of Boo and Duck on green. Yeah, I then... saw that Marth getting sandwiched hard, so... So... Vel, I believe, is the Falcon and below, I believe, is the Marth. Yep. I, um... Yeah, they're, I think their opening strategy was not too good. They both wanted to, like, chase after Puff really hard. And then, uh, unfortunately, they both went to an uncomfortable position. And then uh, I think Falcon friendly fired the Marth, and then, like, Puff just got enough damage to carry him off the level. This is a really interesting, you know, matchup, right? Because I, I feel like, you know, Vel and Blow, they're probably not too familiar playing against, you know, Samus Puff. Yep. Uh, most people aren't. Um, what, what do you Team think that they need died. to do to be able to, you know, take the lead a little bit or try to get in there? I think it's all up to the Falcon. Yeah? Yeah, I think he's going to have to hit, like, somehow hit knees on each of these characters and kill them, kill them ASAP. Uh, Marth, Marth is good at racking damage on these characters because, um, especially in Samus's case, it's hard for her to get around his big moves. And then um, it's hard to get down from them, so she can, so Marth can like start chaining like fairs and up airing and juggling. And uh, with Falcon there, um, they might be able to just like net a lot of hits and rack fast combos. Um, I think Marth could also potentially get like down air edge guards and Samus. And if he kills her early, that might be might be huge. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of like friendly fire from the blue team as well. Um, obviously, that's not it's not wanted. It's not a, a desirable feat, but yeah, um, I think this team this team composition is more prone to get friendly fire a lot too. Mm -hmm. And I was about to say, you know, I think especially against this matchup and then with the composition itself, it's just gonna be really hard to not hit each other. Exactly. Because you want to like overstep overstep your boundary to try and hit hit puff when she's just floating nearby, and then she might evade you in a way where like might lure you to your teammate. But you know, friendly fire could happen. And Samus has some strong moves as well, like down some all her smashes. I no, love Samus and Dubs. You like her in Dubs? Yeah, I think she's a really interesting character. She adds a lot of different levels of depth to it. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. It's just it's interesting to play against, right? You think a little more. True, and also grab, grabs are not like ultra broken in teams, so then if Samus can thrive well in that environment since she's like not too heavily reliant on grab in general. And, um, she has a lot of good poking moves that like wear down wear down shields a lot. They hit hard. They hit in areas that shield poke easy. Oh, wrong teammate. Good save, Duck. Traitor. <laughs> so yeah, fully charged forward smash is actually stronger than falcon punch. So uh, that would have killed if he didn't falcon punch. A boo and uh, boo and Duck laughing. You know, this is just another day at work for them. I think. Yep. Um, nothing crazy, but uh. You know, I, th I think the next game we can probably see a little bit for, for improvement from the other team, the blue team. Um, focus targeting, probably. Focus targeting. Ex you know, sandwiching making, a character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and also, um, Duck and Samus kept getting, like, underneath them when both of them were trying to uh, fight, or if one of them was trying to fight Puff, and, um, he would come in from underneath and then just, like, poke at them with, like, down smash, down tilt, or smash. Ooh. Again, their wires crossed, though. The blue team hitting each other. What do you think about the stage choice going to stadium? I mean, obviously, it's, it's well, no matter where you go in dubs in this kind of matchup, it's going to be a little little tricky, but yeah. why do you think they chose this stage? Uh, it gives more space, and um, uh, maybe Marth in general could kill easier, too, on uh, both of these characters. With, like, a lot of his moves sending vertically, kill off the top. Okay. The one scary thing about the, the, the choice, and we're seeing it right now, is these missiles from Duck. Yep. Um, that really is hurting Falcon quite a bit. Yep. And Abu being used to playing you know, with Duck and around Duck probably is, uh, you know. Falcon is getting edge guarded. Marth just watched him die. <laughs> yeah, I was focusing too hard on Samus, I think. He didn't, like, use his threat of presence to, like, threaten Puff. Even though it's still Falcon, so it's, like, hard to recover, especially against Puff. Because Puff can jump, like, way out there and cover his options. And, like, carry him off. Oh, it was a nice looking team combo until they dropped it. Yeah. I love Puff and Dubs too, actually. I think Puff's a really interesting character in doubles as well. Yeah. Um, I think Puff is ultra broken teams. Yeah, because well, rest, rest is just like, rest, you get jabbed by your teammate, you're back. Yeah. There's no punish on it. Yeah, and then she's hard to combo and then still lives pretty long from being floaty. She can like defend herself by jumping off stage in a lot of cases where a lot of characters can't chase after them. Oh! 
They were super excited about that. Oh yeah, poke. It was a good trade though, I think. Yep. <laughs> it made Duck stop doing it. Yeah, also Puff, um, a lot of her edge guarding. It's hard for a lot of characters to save to save their teammate versus Puff because she can jump like way off stage and like stay out there for a long time. And then for a lot of other characters, it could end up being a big risk to like go out there and try to hit them to save. Yeah, Puff's a good teammate to have for, for you know, being safe and that kind of stuff, I agree. Yep. Um, and you don't have to save her. On her exactly. Her. Makes it easier. Yep. One it's thing easy. I think, I don't, you think you were playing your your match earlier. Um, it was Hungrybox and m 2 here, and they were playing, you know, Coffee Black and Moneve. Um, yeah. And obviously we saw Puff and Falcon there. And we're kind of seeing the same thing that happened in that last match, where the Puff is really just running over the Falcon. He's not really able to do anything because he's getting hit too much. Yep. So... In that kind of situation where the Falcon's getting hit and you know cornered and sandwiched himself um, by, the, by the floaty characters, what can he really do? No idea. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to you just have to let it happen. <laughs> I think. Living a prayer kind of thing. Yep. Like your teammates should have also been buffed, maybe. And then he can get safe. <laughs> you have two puffs each. Uh, that should be mandatory. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That would be a very hard match to commentate. <laughs> <laughs> Four puffs, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, again. The rest of this team. Oh. This time. Duck Kills punch, this time. Getting them a kill. Alright, Duck. Let it be a one on one. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, kind of so. So that would have been really bad if Fabu did rest and kill Duck. Yeah, that actually would have been terrible. It would have been a 1v1. But uh, I think skill wise, Fabu would be favored to win still. But. Mm -hmm. It's or uh, Duck would be favored to still oh, to win because he was the one with the extra stock. Mm -hmm. All right, 2-0.